And this may be my favorite closing of the whole year because on my sides, I have my grandchildren. This is Mary Carol Overhope. Mary Carol, say hello. Hi. And this is Cameron Overhope, my uh, grandson. So it's nice to have them. I've asked them to come sit with me the whole time. And so this should be fun. Uh, now questions from you, the viewer, that I think will be important to your health. Question number one, Dr. Bob, my doctor says I have blocked carotid arteries. How dangerous is that? Well, let's talk about the carotid arteries. When the heart beats, it throws blood out the aorta and the first branches are the carotid arteries. They're carrying the blood to the brain. Now the brain needs an excellent blood supply and lots of oxygen with that blood. And so it's an important uh, fact that it comes right after the heart beats. The blood goes up there, goes through the carotid arteries. We can feel our pulse very easily. When you're feeling your pulse in your carotid artery, never feel both arteries at the same time because you could then cut off the blood supply to your brain. But you can check your pulse, and it's a good thing to know what your pulse is. The other area is in the wrist, the radial artery that we have. Well, this person, has a blocked carotid arteries. That simply most likely means that there's cholesterol plaques in the coronary arteries, in the carotid arteries, in the arteries going to the extremities, but we've got the problem here. And some people, the carotid artery gets more involved with cholesterol plaques, and it will cut off 40, 50, 60, 70 percent of the blood supply. Frequently, the doctor will listen to the neck and he can hear the blood flow through that narrowed area. Or sometimes you can feel a little vibration. Bzz, bzz, bzz. That's a real sign, both of those are, that there's obstruction. Now, the diagnosis can be made by ultrasound or by different uh, tests that we have that will tell us whether that carotid artery is indeed blocked or not. If it is blocked, then we need to go back to the basics uh, for the future, exercise, knowing what your cholesterol is, your blood sugar. But when it's blocked, we can have that plaque, that cholesterol plaque removed. It's called endarterectomy. Uh, your doctor and the surgeon will get together and tell you the pros and the cons and the problems and what kind of success that you can expect. So if you feel a buzz buzz, or when you see your doctor, you might say, listen to my carotid artery, uh, know that there is good treatment for that.